One of the best things that I found that are helping me in my own life is my own ability to fucking own everything I do. I take responsibility for everything that I do in my life. I, am, I hold myself accountable for every fucking thing that I feel and every fucking thing that I do. If I depend on another person to feel a certain way, I'm already fucking up in life. If at any point in your life you say something like, this person made me feel this, this person made me feel like that, or that situation made me act the way I did, you are thinking under a reactive thinking pattern. A reactive thinker is someone who always thinks of things as, this happened to me, this happened to me and I cannot control it, this happened to me so I'm fucked where a proactive thinker, a proactive person would, com would come to terms with the fact that something happened and would see how we can make the best out of it. Just as an example, if a reactive person would have been stuck with a person he or she does not like in a room for 24 hours, they would keep wallowing in their own sorrow and about the fact that they are stuck with a person they don't like and that they have to suffer now for 24 hours, blah, blah, blah where a proactive person would say to himself or herself, okay, this is the situation. Right now, I'm with this person for 24 hours. I can make these 24 hours either good or bad. Let's see how I can make the best out of the tools that have been given to me. Let's see how I survive best in these 24 hours with this person I don't like. Being reactive 99.9% .9 of the times is counterproductive. You can't allow yourself to have these reactive thinking patterns throughout your life. If you want to live your dream, whatever the fuck your dream is, if you want to live that dream, you need to understand that it is a process. It is a process that takes time. A lot of us are thinking because of movies and because of books and all of that crap that person would have a certain eureka moment where everything will be perfect. There will be a 180 and from nothing you become everything from zero to hero and all that bull crap and all that slogans. But in fact, success is not a matter of a single act. It is a bunch of acts that are repeating, 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 repeating. And advancement is not a linear line like many people think. It's more like fractals of circles where you go front and back, front and back, front and back, front and back, and then it progresses like this. It's not a straight line. So there are a lot of setbacks and there are a lot of bumps along the way. So better be prepared for them. And there is this one tool that I found that is very, very prominent when it comes to persisting in doing what it is that you want to do, whatever it is. And that tool is the simple question of why. The reason why is so important because why is the question that if you keep asking it yourself, if you keep asking yourself why you do what you do, if you keep asking yourself why you feel what you feel, eventually you will get to the core answers which will give you your purpose. And purpose is aligned hand in hand with meaning. The minute you have meaning, the minute you have purpose, these are two things that keep directing you forward and that gives you this emotional fuel to work to wherever it is that you want to go. Moreover, when asking yourself why, you're getting to the very depths of who you are, of who it is that you are on this planet, what it is that your character consists of. You get to the very depths of your own soul. You ask yourself the right questions. If you have the bravery to look in the eye of the answers, if you have the bravery to look at whatever comes when you ask the question, not deny it, just accept it and work with it, you will get to the very best answers. So here's a little game that I like to play. The game is called the five whys. I like to play it with myself and I sometimes like to play it with my clients. It really depends. So the game goes like this. If you have any question that you think about, just for example, let's say, why is it that I'm a coach? And then I have the first answer that comes to my mind. That's the answer that I will accept. I will take that answer and then I would ask myself, 
y another time. And I would go like that for the minimum of five times. Normally, by the fifth y, you get to an either I don't know, or you get to a, something that is deeper than what you thought. Normally, an I don't know means that you know the answer, but you overlooked it because you're not brave enough to look at it. If you ask yourself the question again, you will see that there is something in there, your first thought, your first intuition, that tells you why, but you're afraid to look at it. Ask yourself five times why, and you will find that you will get to answers that you didn't even think that are possible, because these answers are deep inside your fucking subconscious. Now the thing is about why that if you keep asking that question, if you keep using the why tool throughout your life, you will always find that fuel for your ambition. When you find yourself lost, when you find yourself, when you get up in the morning and you really just don't want to do anything but watch fucking Netflix, all you have to do is ask yourself, okay, what is my dream? This is my dream. Okay, why do I do that? And then you'll get an answer. Why do I do this? Then you'll get an answer. Why is that? You'll get the answer for that. It can also be a great solution when it comes to understanding your own thinking, your own patterns, and your own bad patterns or good patterns. If you feel awkward at a certain social situation, just ask yourself, why do I feel so awkward? You'll get an answer because your brain is built to that. Your brain is built to provide answers to questions. So you will get the answer to why. And then you ask yourself, okay, why is that? And then you'll get another answer. Why is that? You'll get another answer. Why is that? You'll get another answer. If you get to an I don't know, know that it is something underneath this I don't know. There is something that you're not brave enough to look. Look bravely. Accept whatever is coming when you ask why. And you will receive the most profound answers you can think of. Let me tell you something. You are your best friend you are your best therapist, you are your best coach. There is no one who is better than that than you because only knew you know the truth of your mind and of your soul. Many therapists can guess, many coaches can lead you, but no one will get to the very depths of your soul other than you.